Hello and welcome to another Mepistory TV video and this is going to be an update from the video I made earlier. Uh, so apparently uh, they are changing the MSL weapon and that's the weapon you can farm from Beyond Link Triss and from Rune Temple. So those two weapons uh, were aimed towards uh, Chaos Lubelisk but apparently they're going to make it so that they're going to change it to Ludibrium Clock to match in with the um, uh, with the raid that we're going to get in November 8th. Uh, I don't really like this, considering that we all farmed and we all knew that we we're going to do, or most of us are expecting, as I said earlier, that we're going to get the dungeons, we're going to get all the loot from one dungeon, uh, but they split it up the loot so that you only get armor pieces, etc. from this and that. But now that Ludibrium Clock is the endgame spot where you get the uh, weapons, everyone else that farmed Murphagoth pretty much got fucked. And uh, I mean, it's obviously going to help you to farm uh, and to do uh, Chaos Devarak for the armor pieces, but um, the weapon. Uh, that you want to get the legendary weapons uh, you're gonna need to have the MSL weapon if you want to have higher advantage because uh, I mean the weapon stats and such you are still gonna have the same because they share the same gear uh, gear score and you know same stats but the buff itself is the most important part and having quadrupled on the uh, effect is pretty darn good but uh, since everyone else went and jumped on to the Murphagoth, um, yeah, we're not going to get our Legendary weapon because we're going to be slightly at a disadvantage, uh, disadvantage. So I, I don't really know myself. Um, I don't really know myself what to do at this point. If I should continue to level up my Murphagoth, or if I should start to farm uh, for M MSL weapon. Uh, so this was updated recently, as I'm highlighting. Um, everyone's been concerned they were going to make additional change the dungeon hunter it's actually called dragon hunter for some reason uh, in, in in game uh, it's changed from Lubelis to Ludibrium clock tower this will be applied to all the players that has the weapon already and yeah I don't know it just doesn't appeal to me like you can see over here the what everyone farmed for most expected that we we're gonna do shadow altar to get all the pieces of equipment, uh, including weapon and such. We farmed for shadow altar, and we're now only gonna get the armor. I mean, it's obviously gonna require us to have some legendary equipments to get up their gear score to enter Ludibrium Clock Tower, but. If we didn't bother with the Murphagoth weapon, we could have just gotten the MSL weapon to begin with. But since they updated it so recently, everyone that's farmed for two weeks or three weeks, um, we kind of got ourselves fucked up because MSL weapon is probably going to be better in the long run because of the effect it benefits for Ludibrium Clock Tower. So right now, I'm a little bit baffled on how they handle this I really hope they they will find a way to you know uh, make everyone happy I mean I'm not happy by it but it just means that I'm probably gonna have to waste more time doing um, other dungeons now so if you look at this um, the MSL weapon is gonna be well, it says dragon hunter and not dungeon hunter but uh, it's gonna have the quadruple effect when you do Chaotic Lubelisk, which is going to be um, Clock Tower instead. And it's going to increase the physical and magic damage for 20 seconds by a certain amount. Uh, we all farmed for the Murphagoth, which had 9% um, increase, uh, but for 11 seconds. And we all thought, you know, uh, the Chaos Deverack is going to drop every... Like you do, you, if you want to focus on three different raids, and then you can get either one of them to just you know um, get all the pieces, including legendary weapon. But now it seems like 
it all points out to be only MSL weapons from Rune Temple and Beyond Link that you want to farm if you want to uh, farm for the weapons in the long run. So, yeah, right now I feel like, I mean, it's a good wave to separate, a decent way to separate that you have to farm one of these first and then you can farm the other one la later on. But I feel like, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll stick to my Merfagoth for now. I want to see and wait how big of a deal it is if I farmed MSL or not for the dungeon. I mean, it's just the effect itself, the buff that we're gonna get uh, being changed. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing if people can kill the boss with Merf Merfagoth instead in Ludibrium Clock Tower. If that's the case of, you know, people wiping and not getting um, the loot, etc., then I would say, well, we're kind of fucked then. We're going to need to level up or or en enchant our uh, Ancient for the middle run, and then after that, on 30th, we're going to have to enchant our weapon, uh, MSL weapon to surpass, if these buffs are really, really important, that is. But uh, for now, I would say, yes, still go aim for your Merfagoth while you're waiting. Um, because Shadow Altar is going to be out before um, the Ludibrium Clock Tower. But if you do want to plan ahead, and if you haven't gotten far in with the uh, upgrading for Merfagoth, or you haven't decided to you know, upgrade your weapon yet because you don't have your perfect uh, bonus attribute, my recommendation would be doing Rune Temple and Beyond Link, so you have an MSL weapon. Uh, the effect isn't really uh, much of a big change in comparison to the Merfagoth, but if you do plan on doing uh, the Clock Tower in the long run uh, on 30th November, MSL is going to be the superior one for now. So that's my heads up for, and the quick update I wanted to do regarding the information. Hopefully uh, you guys will uh, manage to clear Chaos Raid and hopefully it won't be too much of a big um, big drastic change uh, when it comes to which weapon you want to farm. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.